हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज उपकार जोशी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री लेक्चर थ्री एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू लाइफ इंश्योरेंस एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स विद फोकस ऑन एंडाउमेंट प्लान्स एज वी ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट देयर कैन बी प्रोडक्ट्स विच नॉट जस्ट कवर्स योर लाइफ अगेंस्ट रिस्क बट कैन ऑल्सो बी एन ऑल्टरनेटिव टू इन्वेस्टमेंट सोल्यूशन सिंस दिस kind of products gives you returns besides covering your life these can be used to address two kinds of risks number 1 the risk of living too long and number 2 the risk of living well as we have already discussed in the last episode that in a trop meaning term with return of premium kind of plans there are charges like administrative charges marketing expenses um, mortality charges etc besides a portion of the premium is invested and the profits thereof are used to repay the premium collected from the policy holders over the policy term so similarly if we want that uh, at the time of maturity in case uh, a policy holder survives the policy term he or she should not just be returned the premium that he or she has paid but also some profits on the premium that he or she has been paying over the policy term then we would have to facilitate the insurance company by giving some extra premium now this premium uh, would then be invested by the fund management team of the insurance company and the profits that the fund management team earns would then be utilized by the insurance company to repay the uh, premium that uh, the policy holder has been paying plus to give some extra profits to the policy holder now this type of plan that we just discussed is called the endowment plan in an endowment plan if a policy holder dies uh, during the policy term then the nominee gets number 1 the insurance amount and two the profits earned by the fund management team and in case the policy holder survives the policy payment term uh, then he or she gets number 1 the maturity benefits as per the plan and number 2 uh, the profits earned by the fund management team now that brings us to listing down the type of endowment plans uh, basis the kind of uh, investments that the uh, fund management team does the uh, endowment policies can be categorized into broadly into two types the first one is called uh, the traditional type of endowment plan in the traditional type of endowment plan most of the investments are done in Uh, uh central government and state government securities in the prescribed proportion as regards returns since most of the investment is done in debt securities the returns would probably match that of the uh, fixed deposit uh, the only differentiator being uh, taxation and costs as regards taxation since we all know that uh, the majority proceeds from um, an insurance plan are tax free in the hands of the investors currently uh, therefore uh, the returns in the longer run from a traditional type of endowment plan would probably match uh, the returns of uh, a fixed deposit the second type of plan is called a unit linked insurance plan or ulip in short in a ulip the in the fund management team issues units against the investable portion of the premium the process is similar to that of investing in a mutual fund and like mutual funds in ulip the uh, depending upon the kind of selection of uh, scheme the fund management team invests the investable portion into various kinds of debt and equity instruments to talk of returns 
like mutual funds only the valuations of the units of a ulip plan are done on regular basis and an nav or net asset value is declared on specific intervals though the returns are not fixed but it is a common observation that in the longer run the returns of a ulip plan are better than the returns of a traditional plan uh, the fund value can be assessed basis the valuations of any particular day depending upon the nav of the units the insurance companies consider ulip as an appropriate solution or a combination of life insurance and investments to talk of uh, taxation as we all know that uh, the majority proceeds of, from any insurance plan um, are currently considered tax free um, so this far we have discussed uh, the endowment type of insurance plan within which we have discussed the uh, traditional type of endowment plan and ulip type of endowment plan um, these type of plans can be used to address the dying too soon living well and living long kind of uh, risk um, besides these products can also be used for estate planning now that brings us to the next type of uh, plan chapter 4 life insurance and investments and we are going to study money back kind of plans as we have already discussed in the endowment plans upon maturity the policy holder gets a lump sum both in case of traditional as well as ulip plans and in case of any eventuality the nominee also gets a lump sum both in case of traditional as well as ULIP type of plans. But in both the scenarios, the policy holder while servicing the uh, policy premiums does not get any money. Now, so what if you want that there should be a plan where the policy holder while servicing the policy premium should also get some money and upon death or upon maturity the nominee or the policy holder respectively should get the balance money well that is possible because there exists such type of plans these type of plans are called money back plans in a money back plan as against an endowment plan the policy holder gets to enjoy some regular cash flows uh, or payments while he is still servicing the uh, policy term and in a money back plan in case of death the policy holder gets uh, life insurance money plus the leftover profit in case of a ulip type of money back plan or uh, the life insurance money plus the leftover bonus in case of a traditional type of plan. Upon maturity, the policy holder gets uh, maturity proceeds plus either the leftover fund value or the leftover bonus. Uh, in terms of returns, the returns would have to be calculated considering the fact that some cash flows have already been withdrawn or taken away during the policy servicing period. As regards taxation, all receipts from money back policy like other uh, insurance policies are also considered tax free currently under the Income Tax Act. And uh, that brings us to the end of this chapter. So, under this topic insurance, what we have discussed so far are term plans, TROP, endowment and money back.